In this solve along video, we'll explore factoring a perfect square trinomial and we'll do this extensively so that you can dominate your exams. The techniques used for factoring polynomials are pretty varied and another method that you can use for factoring polynomials are the perfect square trinomial formulas. So. If you have no clue how to expand perfect square trinomials or you haven't seen our videos for it yet, then be sure to click the I button. Because if you don't have that knowledge, I can guarantee that you'll be making these facial expressions watching any video about factoring perfect square trinomials. Factoring is just the opposite of expanding. Which is why factoring a perfect square trinomial is highly dependent on your ability to recognize the add times add and subtract times subtract patterns. So your experience expanding these patterns will help you a lot. There will be a three second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video to solve it on your own first, and then continue playing the video to see if you're correct. Alright, let's start factoring perfect square trinomials. You can identify if a trinomial is a perfect square by first checking if the first and third terms are perfect squares. And if they are, then label the roots as a and b. Equate a squared to 4c squared. Taking the square root of both sides will result in a equal to 2c. Equate b squared to 49. Taking the square root of both sides will result in b equal to 7. If the absolute value of the middle term is equal to 2ab, then it means that the trinomial is a perfect square. Substitute the values of a and b. 2 times 2c times 7 is equal to 28c. This polynomial fits the perfect square trinomial pattern which is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, where a is equal to 2c and b is equal to 7. Last, factor to the perfect square trinomial using the formula for a minus b squared, and substitute the values of a and b. The final, final answer, answer is 2c minus 7 squared. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. Check if the first and third terms are perfect squares. Let a squared be equal to 64y squared, and let b squared be equal to 1. Check if the absolute value of the middle term is equal to 2ab. Substitute the values of a and b. 2 times 8y times 1 is equal to 16y. This polynomial fits the perfect square trinomial pattern which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, where a is equal to 8y and b is equal to 1. Last, factor the perfect square trinomial using the formula for a plus b squared and substitute the values of a and b. The final, final answer, answer is 8y plus 1 squared. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. By the way, please support Teach Me Animated Math by, by liking, liking this, this video. video. And if you're new to our channel, then click, click the, the subscribe, subscribe button, button and hit, hit that bell, bell icon so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. Okay, let's continue. Check, 
check if the first and third terms are perfect squares. Let a squared be equal to 81x raised to 4. And let b squared be equal to 25y squared. Check if the absolute value of the middle term is equal to 2ab. Substitute the values of a and b. 2 times 9x squared times 5y is equal to 90x squared y. This polynomial fits the perfect square trinomial pattern which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared where a is equal to 9x squared and b is equal to 5y. Last, factor the perfect square trinomial using the formula for a plus b squared and substitute the values of a and b. The final, final answer, answer is, is 9x squared plus 5y squared. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. Check if the first and third terms are perfect squares. Let a squared be equal to 9m raised to 4. And let b squared be equal to 25n squared. Check if the absolute value of the middle term is equal to 2ab. Substitute the values of a and b. 2 times 3m squared times 5n is equal to 30m squared n. This polynomial fits the perfect square trinomial pattern which is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared where a is equal to 3m squared and b is equal to 5n. Last, factor the perfect square trinomial using the formula for a minus b squared and substitute the values of a and b. The final, final answer, answer is... is 3m squared minus 5n squared. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. Check if the first and third terms are perfect squares. Let a squared be equal to 4c raised to 4. And let b squared be equal to 25d raised to 6. Check if the absolute value of the middle term is equal to 2ab. Substitute the values of a and b. 2 times 2c squared times 5d cubed is equal to 20c squared d cubed. This polynomial fits the perfect squared trinomial pattern which is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared where a is equal to 2c squared and b is equal to 5d cubed. Last, factor the perfect square trinomial using the formula for a minus b squared and substitute the values of a and b. The final, final answer, answer is 2c squared minus 5d cubed squared. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown here. And here is the answer key for this worksheet. I hope you learned a lot about factoring perfect, perfect square, square trinomials, trinomials in this solve along video. Just practice, practice, practice. practice. Factoring perfect square trinomials until it becomes second nature to you. And don't be afraid to make mistakes since correcting them is part of your learning process. Our next solve along worksheet video is about factoring differences of two squares. This factoring technique is the opposite of expanding differences of two squares that we tackled in one of our solve along videos. So don't worry because this one is pretty simple and it will have step by step solutions that are very easy to follow. So be, be sure, sure to subscribe, subscribe to teach me animated math and don't miss out see you next time